Hi everyone, I'm Mishka and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's episode of Our Life Beginning and Always, we are going to be starting our wedding cake! I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't really remember, but this is but considering this is a bakery, uh yay, we're gonna do our wedding cake today. I'm really excited for that. But two things I have to um obviously put on the table. One being that I have not been here for like the past two weeks. Why am I doing this? I'm really sorry about that guys, but um, yeah, that's why I've been gone. School's been starting. I had my open house for school last night. So yeah, this past week has been full of like stuff. I went to the fair with my boyfriend and my family on like Monday or something. And then we went on a vacation this past couple this past week so yeah <laughs> and the second thing is oh my gosh you guys we hit 100 subscribers oh my god oh my gosh i cannot i i'm stuttering because i don't know what to say but honestly like i never thought i would be here I, right now is at my 103 subscribers because when i saw that i was like holy crap <laughs> and like, oh my gosh, you guys, like, I just love each and every one of you so, so much. And I just can't believe that that many people have subscribed to me, honestly. I can't believe that many people you were enjoying my content so much that you had to subscribe to me. But yeah, oh my gosh, thank you guys so much, you know. Oh my god, thank you so, so much. But um, before we get started, make sure to subscribe button and share this video with your friends so they can find out about my amazing channel just like you have right now. So, yeah. Let's get into I hope you enjoy. The light tinkling of a bell over the door announced your arrival as you and Cove stepped inside, where you were immediately welcomed by a pleasant waft of sweet scents. The bakery was a delight for the senses before, even before you'd taken a single bite. Decked out in a pretty shade of pink, it was impossible to miss. Cove closed his eyes and inhaled deeply. There was a soft air of cakes and pastries baking in the oven, tinged with warm spices like cinnamon and nutmeg. If I said that right, sorry. <laughs> uh, the display case was full of the daily selection of mouthwater and delicacies neatly lined up and ready to be taken away. The selection ranged from intricate specialty cakes to more rustic homey brownies and cupcakes. As, mm, I was going to say especially. <laughs> Usually those kinds of treats would be everything you needed, but today was a special visit. You were entirely focused on the even better desserts waiting for you on the horizon. You could tell Cove shared your feelings. He weighed beside you with every outward appearance of patience, but you could tell his anticipation by the way he kept a close watch on the kitchen door as he waited for an employee to come greet you. This uncharacteristic restraint was a snark contrast to any other time he'd visited a bakery where he had rushed over to the display case and immediately began picking out cakes to take home. Oh god, that's the coup we know. As he shifted from one foot to the other, you knew that he was fighting to hold back those usual urges. Luckily, his self-control wasn't tested for long. Soon, the door to the kitchen swung open and a friendly-looking face emerged. Spotting you and Cove, the person smiled and began heading over. As they approached, you saw that the name on their tag said, um, Xavier. I don't know how to say that name, sorry. The little pertin bucket button pinned to one strap of their apron with the words, They trust them, uh, printed in black letters. Xavier walked right up to you and gave you a warm so welcome. You could have sworn it could have come fresh from the oven. Hello, thanks for coming by X Ake. <laughs> Is there anything I can get for you? Hi, um Cove paused, pointing first at himself and then you and then at you as he spoke. We're Cove and Mina, we've got an appointment here. His voice, which had started out measured and even, became hushed as through of what you were here to do started to get to Cove. When he resumed speaking, it broke further still, devolving into a rush whisper that Xavier needed to lean in to catch. It's to plan our wedding cake. We're getting married. We're, thank you for making time for us. Xavier's eye lit up at the introduction. Of course, welcome meeting Cove, our bride and groom. <laughs> oh god. It's so, it's so weird to say that, y'all. Like, we're like, what, fiancés? It's, oh my god, that's so weird to say. Cove printed ever so slowly at those words, his chin jutting out with confidence. I'm Xavier, the head cake artist here. We're so happy to be working for you for such an important event. You can take some seats right there in front and we can start talking options, okay? They gestured at a nearby table, you and Cove obliged taking your seats. As you sat down, your stomach somersaulted. 
You were really here to pick out a wedding cake, the cake that would be served at your wedding. It hadn't quite slunk in before, but being invited to begin had made it feel more official. But knowing that you weren't alone and feeling that way comforted you, and you grinned at the love of your life. <laughs> Go beam back at you. <laughs> the bigger had taken a detour over to the back shelf, where they picked up a binder before coming to stand up uh, before you at the table. I went over the info our bacon assistant took when the appointment was arranged, so we can dive right into things. So let's get to it. Starting with the size of the cake, how big do you want it to go? We can... Oh my god, we can go as big as five tiers high. Yeah, girl. Okay, yo, we... No, Co, we're doing five! Oh, wait. Hmm, two or three, maybe? No, Co, we're doing five. Sorry. Co tilted his head to the side as he looked to you for input. Um, if they can do five, then let's do five. <laughs> Cup's mouth fell open as he stared at you. The corners of his mouth began to curve upwards as he gradually recovered from the shock. Seriously? Yes! I want this to be a big blowout to our life beginnings and always. You nodded your expression unchanged. Of course. Cup retrieved his jaw and put on his best loop side smile. Okay, we'll get a five tier cake. Seeing as you reached a conclusion, Xavier noted it down in the binder. Mm hmm, a five tier cake it is! <laughs> they glanced up from the binder, smiling. That will give us a lot to work with. In terms of decorating, is there any kind of direction you'd want us to aim for in the overall style? Uh, wait. Yeah, okay. Cove pursed his lips, stumped by the question. Artistic vision had never been a strong suit. Mm. Though you'd reviewed ideas for decorations and color schemes together, asking Cove to distill those visions and themes into words was doomed to failure. You took it from there and said, Ooh, <gasps> beachy. Oh my God, really? Elegant, modern, traditional, un unusual. Mm, that's kind of interesting. Floral, simplest, thicker. No, I want beachy. Because we're doing it on the beach. Co sighed, relieved, and expressed his approval. Yeah, that's right. We can work with that for sure. Any color ranges in mind? Again, Co fell silent like a kid hoping not to be caught on in the classroom. Even though it was just the three of you and he had no chance of hiding, you could swear that he was shrinking lower in his seat as if hoping to go unnoticed. As entertaining as that was, you decided to spare Cope before he slipped under the table. You spoke up and said, Oh, pastels. Mostly white with color pops. Dark shades, classic white, bright tone. Oh, rainbow! Okay, let's do rainbow. Okay, wait. No, past. Mostly white with color pops. Pastel. Okay, I want pastel. <laughs> Sorry. Got it. And what's one color you really want me to keep up on the top of my mind? Uh, red. Nice, nice. I'm getting you. Uh, Xavier looked up from the binder. Right, so we're going for a five-tier red cake that's beachy. Oh my god, that sounds awful! <laughs> Wait, actually, let's just... Let's just keep it classic white. Perfect, I've got you. Okay... Yeah, okay, we're going for a white cake that's beachy. Yes, that sounds more, like, nice. You could picture the cake clearly now. It was just what you'd wanted. Yeah, that's right. Kofu was staring at you like you'd save him from a life or death situation rather than answering a couple of simple questions and a pleasant baker gave you a thumbs up. Xavier watched you both with a smile. This cake is really shaping up. Time for the fun part. I'll be right back. Oh, are we gonna try it? They got up and made their way to the, into the kitchen. The fun part... Cove echoed the words, puzzled but intrigued. He peered after Xavier, trying to catch a glimpse of the magic happening behind the doors. Craning his neck didn't grant Cove x-ray vision, but that was just fine as you weren't kept in suspense for long. Um, Xavier quickly returned with a large covering serving tray. Cove gasped, his fingers curling with anticipation. Careful coming through. Um, they lowered the heavy platter onto the table where it clattered against the hard surface as it settled. Uh oh. Ooh, that burns. Okay, sorry, I just picked something. <laughs> they lowered. Oh. Ooh, that looks nice! Xavier lifted the cover to reveal several uh, plates of little cake slices with mounds of different frosting and filling flavors. Oh, oh I like the strawberries! Okay, you know what? We'll do the second one with the pink um, and the strawberries. Cove Gap wowed by the revelation. We get to try samples? I mean, what do you expect, Cove? That's what you do. 
Extreme your Google at Cove's reaction, given just how much enthusiasm Cove had. You bet there weren't many previous grooms whose response could compare. You do. They pointed at the tray and began talking you through the selection, starting with the neat little slices of cake. So we've got a few cake flavors for you today. Vanilla, chocolate, red velvet, citrus, and such. They moved over to the frosting and fillings. There's vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, maple, and mocha buttercream. Over here, we've got chocolatey and fruity fillings, though the inside can simply contain more frosting if you'd prefer. Okay, having you talk through the samples, they straightened up. These are some of our most popular options, but not everything. You can see all of our options on the order forms. As they talked, uh, they took out two copies of the order sheet and presented you with, with one each. All the possibilities for each element of the cake were laid out before you. Now, darker... Mm. Now, darker colored cake flavors like chocolate and red velvet can make light colored designs harder to pull off. Yeah. Still, it's not definitely, it's definitely not impossible. So feel free to choose what you most want to eat and let us take care of the rest. That's everything. You're welcome to eat whatever parts look appealing or you can have everything on the platter if you've got the stomach for it. Yeah, Cove's eyes. Or Cove does. Oh my god. I just like, I was just reading it and I was, I meant to say Cove is. Oh my god. Cove does have a stomach for it. Cove's eyes sparkled with anticipation. Knowing Cove, you suspected that he had, oh my god. He intended to take Xavier up on the offer to sample everything. He picked up the fork, provided and began systematically working through the platter. He took scoops out of the cake, frosting and filling options in turn, moving from left to right and from top to bottom. You trickled softly, amused that your hunch had been correct. Though Cove was evidently intent on eating a bit of everything, you noted that he was careful to leave at least half of each sample in case you wanted it too. Aw, oh, yeah, let's try everything. It all looked delicious. Picking up a fork, you joined Cove in, sampling the cakes, frosting, and fillings on offer. You remembered your delight to each other as you discovered new combinations and enjoyed the sheer variety laid out before you. Cove's eyes shone as he looked at you, glad to be sharing the experience. You were so unruptured that you nearly forgot that you weren't alone with Cove, but this too was by design. The baker stood by approvingly, careful not to do anything that might interrupt your enjoyment. Oh, we can beat Cove. Um, you seized the last bit of a cake before Cove could get. <laughs> you deliberately scooped up the last bit. Last of one of the cake flavors and wolfed it down. Cove gas at your audacity. His chicken face is so hilarious that you couldn't help laughing at him. You snooze you. <laughs> you know, I can eat way faster than this. I was just going slow for your sake. His pain martyred expression dissolved into something mischievous. There was a glint in his eyes, but I guess not anymore. You giggled. Oh no. No! <laughs> Cove shimmied happily in his seat. The different varieties had gone down very well with him. They're all so good. He cracked a grin. Hey, could we get a tear for every flavor? Oh my god, are you serious? Xavier laughed. Unfortunately, we can't, at least not in a single cake, but, and I'm guessing you don't want several different cakes for your wedding. Yeah, we should just go with one. I have no idea how we're gonna choose. Your attention was back on the tray where the remnants of the samples remind you just how broad your options were it wasn't going to be easy to narrow it down now that you and cobra experts in the bakery's cakes it was time to figure out the details we can do the cake all in one flare top to bum or let you choose two sets of different flavors what works for you Ooh. um let's do one flavor yeah let's do that Cove lifted himself up off the chair briefly to switch his position. He moved over from leaning forwards towards the train shifted to be situated on the side of the chair facing you so what's your thoughts? You don't need to stick to it forever, but were you thinking something kind of plain, chocolatey, fruity, or what? You picked up the copy of the form to review the options again. After studying it carefully, you said, let's do fruity, okay. He rested his chin in his hand as he stared thoughtfully into the distance. A smile drifted across his face as he pictured the possibilities for your cake. Then what do you think of a lemon cake with strawberry buttercream and mixed berry preserves from the inside? Ooh, that sounds good! Yeah, let's go with that! Oh my god, that sounds so nice. Kev strained up at your words of approval, amazed that his idea had been helpful. The baker jotted it down. I'm good with that. Cake flavors are sorted. Then your mouth, water, and cake flavors were all set. You were sure it was going to be a hit at the wedding. The inside of the cake is great. All that's left now is the cover. How should we wrap your baby up? Do you like fondant or maybe Janet? Janet Oh my god, what is that? 
I don't know. I've never heard of a cover up. Coast Shrugged, you said. What is fun, Dan? This. I don't. No, just do buttercream. Got it. Almost done. They scribbled that down in the binder. Finally, what elements would you like me to include in the design and the presentation of the cake? Ooh! A, br <laughs> a bride and groom cake topper. Royal icing piping. Marinade, is that how you say it? Detailing, edible pearls, sugar made decoration. Ooh, chocolate made. Ew, edible paint. Ew, fresh flowers, ribbon, ribbons. I mean, should we just get it all? A well, cake topper. We definitely need royal icing. Let's do detailing. I don't want pearls. I want chocolate made decorations. Flesh flesh fresh flowers and ribbons actually let's do the pearls and the sugar made decoration i want the paint extra fancy huh that works for me awesome we've got ourselves a cake plan the baker's words made it official you picked your wedding cake you couldn't help being especially thrilled about that the wedding cake was such a focal part of the party it would be featured in photographs and shared among your family and friends. Uh, the joy of the day distilled into a beautiful confection. Just thinking about it left you breathless. Glance at Kuth out of the corner of your eye, wondering if he was feeling ex as excited as you were. He was leaning forward in a seat, a rapt expression on his face. As Xavier continued speaking, you pulled yourself back to the present. I'll take all the info you've given us today and use it to think of the finished design. I'll keep you in on how it's going. Um, though, before you go, are you wanting any other dessert on the side? Ooh, maybe cupcakes or cookies? Or could we do something else if there's anything specific you have in mind? Oh, cinnamon balls! Oh my god! Wait, what else is there? Fudge? Oh my god, crappies! No, cinnamon rolls. Oh yes, that'd be delicious. Unexpected but not impossible. We can make you some cinnamon rolls. Your own personal cinnamon roll beamed with delight. The three of you talked over the details of your additional dessert. Xavier skillfully guided you through it all to determine everything from your preferences for flavor and texture to the quantity you needed. Eventually, it was all set up. Xavier reviewed their notes in the binder. So you're getting a five-tier cake with a beachy kind of feel that's fruity. And you're also getting some cinnamon, cinnamon rolls along with it. Your heart fluttered as you imagined the cake once more. You and Coop standing over and ready to take the first cut. The side dessert beautifully contemplated the cake, completing the picture perfectly. Yeah, those are our desserts. Coop bounced in his chair again. His hands clapped against the edge of the table. His excitement was as palpable as your own. This is going to be so good. Xavier grinned, pleased to see the two of you happy. Thanks again for coming to us for your wedding. We'll make the desserts of your dreams. Oh my god! Yay! So we have our cake picked out! Ah, I'm so excited! You worked through the outstanding specifics of your order with Xavier, who was determined to get everything right for your big day and had an answer ready for everything you could throw at them. Once the final arrangements had been confirmed, you left the bakery feeling confident that your wedding cake was going to be just wonderful. Cove naturally shared your optimism completely. Okay, everyone, that is where I'm going to leave today's episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh my god, we picked our wedding cake. Oh my god. So we've, oh my god, guys, we're getting so, so much closer to like our actual wedding oh yeah i'm so excited okay oh my god okay but this is where i'm gonna leave today's episode here everyone hope you guys enjoyed it but lastly you're a gem and thank you for watching a wonderful day everyone bye